obviously nobody knows tomorrow, but well, God day, so we to we day. No one knew that 2020 would come like this, but here we are today. Of course, nobody knows tomorrow, but God knows everything. My name is Pastor Romano Shok. Welcome to the Late Night Celebrity Show. <laughs> I wanted to do something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been a while. We are counting down to Christmas. I'm sure you've been hanging out or checking out or watching uh, Mercy B as she comes down to Christmas. We're also doing the same. Very soon, it's just a week away. It looks like Christmas is actually wearing no mask or something. Because you know the feel I'm crying. Koro, eh? Koro, koro. Koko, koro, koro. Anyway, to join me on WhatsApp is 0202222054. My guest is seated, and this guy, I don't know how he does it. I mean, like, he, he is. He's always showing something new. He always has something new up his sleeve. And um, he's doing so well. And uh, he has another joint in town. And um, he has another um, technical musicology something going <laughs> on with him. He's always, you know, like, I can't wait to hear from him what he has in up his sleeve again. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest is the man. Some call him Ra. Others do call him Matic. Some to call him Trig. Some say Trig Matic. Others to say, I tell you, my. Charlie, Yo. you're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Being thank a you. while. Yeah, boss. The hairstyle be like old age or be new brand. Yo. Uh, I mean, nobody know. knows. You <laughs> 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 mean all you get out of Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows oh, tomorrow. Oh, Charlie. But you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. It's thank you. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been Almost a while. Almost um, six, eight, ten, twelve, one year? Well, I think it's maybe maybe a year. Maybe a year, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's been a while. But yeah. how have how has Corona, you know, dealt with you? Charlie. Media, you can't say Corona dealt with you because you've been doing lots of stuff. Oh, I mean, we just try to find ourselves in the midst of, mm. you know, troubles. I mean, don't forget that, I, I mean, as a believer, he says uh, the waters will come, but it will not over overtake us. So Hallelujah. I mean, definitely, we needed to find our balance, mm. Charlie. Uh, corona took us by storm, yeah. uh, but we stand strong in in all of that. So Charlie, he worry we, he mm. worry we. I was supposed to, I had just gotten gotten uh, an agent for for the first time, my music Whoa. career. Um, just when we had book shows in Europe, Corona came, so we couldn't. I was supposed to be booked from 28th of March. Um, to the 7th of April and then from, from the 7th of April all the way through to December, you know. So, so like your year was... Yeah, it was, it was, fully, it was, it was fully booked. Mm. Um, but then I only did 28th to 7th of April and I couldn't go mm. anywhere again. Wow, yeah. wow. But, but would you say the things you're doing now which you're going to be talking about, would you say it came because of Corona or there are things you had planned and decided to use Corona as an opportunity to launch them? I would say, you know, like they say, like God always has um, a way of, you know, speaking to us and speaking and directing us, mm. you know, especially if, if you do acknowledge um, that, you know, he's the one that leads your journey. Yeah. So I think, I think for me, um, he used Corona to unearth certain things um, that because it wasn't planned, mm. you know, dropping an EP wasn't part of the plan. The plan was to push the album and like I said I was going to go away I yeah. had a couple of universities to speak in outside so probably I would have been doing that by now and then be home mm. to just do my last show that I, every, I do every year yeah. and then that would have wrapped up the year but here we are I mean even us harvesting rice and packaging it wasn't part of the plan mm -hmm. yeah um, you're in agriculture you know, et cetera. Yeah, exactly I was like hey drink I yeah, didn't know exactly. you're a farmer too. exactly exactly and we also launched the folklore virtual classes as well mm. you know so it was like so much you so know. that means corona in a way has been a oh it's been a blessing for, for some in, of in us in this guy yeah so how, how are the the platforms there's uh, something and skills there's uh skills and thrills skills and thrills yes. and then you have this workshop thing you do yes we have music speaks music speaks and then um, we also have the music speaks we have one that we do on instagram mm. and then we have the physical event itself Wow. Yeah. Is it a training or...? Yeah, so, so at the time when Corona came, yeah. we sort of found out that the job markets will change mm -hmm. and the trends on the job markets will change. And it's something a lot of people were, were not looking at. 
For instance, now I do an EP, I mix it, and I can put it on a website that can master it. You know, so I no longer probably would need that sound engineer who will sit down and everything. So far as I'm able to tell the AI what I want it to do, it will happen. Now there's a lot of talk about blockchain, uh, big data, data analysis and stuff like that. The computer can think for you. The computer can use intelligence to gather the information that they need to recreate things. You know, so I re we realized that a lot of jobs, people, a lot of people will lose their jobs mm. and, and it happened. It happened, yeah, yeah, you know. It did. So it's like just prepping the people for the near future because where we're getting into, because of Corona, people realized, even at a point, landlords got pissed because at a point, workers realized they didn't need their offices. They could, they work, could work from home. home. Mm -hmm. You know, people could work from their laptops, people could work from their mobile phones. And because of Corona, there have been uh, an upspring of people like influencers yeah. who were not necessarily celebrities. They found out that they could also create content. You know, so all these things came, and that's mm -hmm. why we had Music Speaks. I was, I was humbled to get to speak with Dr. Mark Regiment, which I also found through Twitter, you oh. know, and he's one of the world's greatest speakers, you know, and then, and then I spoke to some people also on mental health mm -hmm. because we believe that post-COVID, there will be a lot of mental health oh, wow. issues. I mean, we'll come, to, we'll come to why you're here, but I'm very fascinated about all these things that you're doing aside your main, um, yeah. I mean, the main thing we know you for. Mm. So this whole art, art of speaking, public speaking, et cetera, ha has they, or were they part of your initial mapping as an artist that, okay, at a point in time, I'm going to take a break and do this? Because for you talk, like music speaks for instance. Yeah. Is it like you're using music to tell all these things or it's just a, a name a just name. to, you know, uh, sort of lay on whatever plan you have or how, how did that happen? Well, I think music speaks um, wasn't part of the plan. Mm. I mean, as I grew, I identified a lot of problems, social issues, and I realized that a lot of a big chunk of my colleagues focus on entertaining the people. I also realized that in a way then came um, sort of siphoning what the people already had, the little they already had, and not really adding True. to their lives, mm -hmm. or probably taking advantage of their vulnerability, or they're not being aware, especially in a place like Ghana. So I decided that let me look out for the issues, and then through my music, I can, so actually I joined a project and represented Ayek from Ghana in that project. Scott Buemi is building opportunities and employment through music investigations. Wow. So, and we did this in Europe. And it was at this program I realized that, so wait a minute, there are people who are actually doing music for social change. They are not doing music to because become to yeah, be famous, famous by big chains and big cars but for social change. And, and I was moved by that and I wanted to be a part of it. Because I have a friend, Iris, who is from Spain, who actually go to war zones with instruments and rescue kids, uh, rescue children who have suffered the shock of war. There are videos that she sent to me, I wish, I, I mean, I, I, if I knew yeah. I would have sent them to you, where you can actually see firing of guns and bombs and she's still there teaching the kids how to play the violin. So oh. they don't listen to the sound of the guns and, 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 and then it doesn't become yeah, a part of them. Uh -huh, exactly. So, and then I brought them into Ghana uh, about some four years ago. I brought them into Ghana, about 12 of them. I funded it myself. Mm. I brought them here, uh, housed them and kept them here. And they did a whole report on Ghana. So based on the report, I decided to create Music Speaks as a dialogue series to touch on some of the issues that were raised in in that report. So we did oh. agriculture, we've done a few topics, we've even touched on high life, our music, mm. and uh, it's been amazing. I told you this man has, he's always up to <laughs> something, uh, you know, something new. <laughs> Let me pause for a quick commercial break. One week come out, he has an EP out, and then there are other great things he's doing. We'll talk about it. Please stay tuned. I'll be right back. It's Maddox right there, a.k.a. Maddox, a.k.a. Ra, a.k.a. Trick, a.k.a. 
Ni wa bien ko. Chick Madala. Ah, Chick Madala. <laughs> right, you're so tuned into the late night celebrity show, and Trig is my guest. I told you this was your uh, my life concert, right? Concert, yes. So I did it this year. I, I did it this year already. Uh, you know, I thought you do it at the end of the year. Yes, but I moved it because of Corona. Mm. We moved it a bit. Uh, we, we we did it a bit earlier, and I had to travel after the show, so I did it quickly, and I went to SC. I was judging for a show. Okay. Yeah, I was judging on a show, and then I came back. It was only the Osage Force night we couldn't do this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. You changed your sound. Yeah. And uh, listening to some of the songs on the EP, it looks like you've gone back to pick some of your the old you into yeah. it, and then you are introducing the new you. Yeah. I remember the last time we we spoke, you were like. You were now trying to change the sound because of you know the yeah. experiences out yeah. there. What 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 accounted for that? Why are you not bringing a piece of the old you, even though you are trying to put a new image out? Well, I think that uh, as I, I'm transitioning, mm. you know, and I don't want to force it. You know, I don't want to force it. Like I always say, everything I do is intentional. I'm not the type that will just do something I haven't thought of. Okay. Anytime people ask me questions like, oh, Charlie, why you stop the rap? Mm -hmm. You know, even when... Yeah, the me, day, myself, like... The day I go release album, the day somebody asks me, Charlie, na, and Tishi, you know? <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> and I know, I mean, look, uh, Genius will say, I have songs that could be played on radio every day. But that's not the plan. Mm. You know, the plan is to sell the music to a new market, which I have identified. And I must be honest, there's a market, there's a traumatic music market. Wow. Anything that's sellable has a market. You know, you just need to find it. You know, and I've found it, and I know how I sell it to them. I sell it to them on my shows. I, I mean, I have people who would text and say, I was touched by your music. This happened to me. And this thing about this social change thing i'm big on it it's not like something i wanted to just do and stop mm. so it's even in my lyrics it's in the kind of songs i do because for me i am for change i am for uh, like i i believe in being a part of of the change so i put that in my music once you hear it and you're inspired by it it triggers that that change in you and and you see i don't like the way we often make our listeners or or Ghanaians, if I should say, seem like unintelligent people. Yeah. You know? It's like everybody that's in a place of power enjoys the weakness of their subordinates mm. or the people that are under them. Yeah. You know, and, and I'm not really up for that. I mean, in as much as yes, we all do take advantage of people one way or the other. You have to do it such that it's in line with your job and it's not rubbing off the other person. Yeah. You know, but once you do that, and, and, and mental robbery is the worst. Mm. You know, when, like, it's like, and then now it's like, oh, Ghana, dear. Oh, yeah, I know. 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 You know, but that's not it. I know there are very wise people. Yeah. I know there are people who have taste for certain uh, type of music and all mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. So I'm focusing on, and you know, consistency pays. Okay. But consistency is painful. Mm, very difficult. So I'm just on that path. And I know that there will come a time people will understand the painting that I'm putting together. So, so let's see where the media fall short or where they stand in this. Like you're saying, it's like we are used to a certain type of sound on our airways. Yeah. If you don't play that kind of sound with that kind of BPM, yeah. hardly will you ever hear your song yeah. being played. Whose fault is it? Well, I don't, I, normally, I don't say it's anybody's fault, but I just say, yes, well, the media, they are the gatekeepers. The gatekeepers are the ones, I wouldn't say to blame, mm -hmm. but I'll say, they, they take majority of the responsibility. Because back in the days, you could hear a time where they are playing solely R and B. Yeah. They they have a reggae time. Yeah. They have a this time at yeah. that time. Even yeah. soul music was on. Yeah. Now it's like, of our the one million radio stations we have, hardly do they ever play some of these songs at particular yeah. times. I mean, I, I'm locked on. I'm locked on a radio monitor monitoring system, where I'm able to tell whose song is being played at what time in real time. Mm. 
And you should, see, you should see the records. With all the radio stations we have, majority of our airplays are non-Ghanaian songs. They are mm, not Ghanaian songs. Exactly. We play few Ghanaian songs, and the Ghanaian songs we play are all the same. And so the market share, the biggest market share, goes, still goes out to foreigners, and it takes local labels, if there are any, to struggle before they can get a bit of the market share. You understand? So it's, it's really uh, troubling. Because if, like, like you're saying, if the gatekeepers knew, like for instance, the logging system, the radio monitoring system being in place, even if the, the logging system should not be something magical that we can't do, mm. we can even introduce the playlist system where after the DJ plays, you submit There's your playlist. playlist. So, so then that. you know that. So then if every station has that in a month, they will have it on record that we played all these songs. When Gamro comes and they are collecting their money, they can show it to them. This, this is the record. They can demand it because they know it's as part of the system. But you see, nobody is asking because also the people who are in charge, who want to collect it, they love the fact that the radio station is not doing it. Because then they can come now and say, per 100,000 be mommy, per 20,000 be mommy. Say, who can you 50,000? Now 20,000, maybe I suck it. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So nobody is really like fighting for the system to be fixed because once it's fixed, all the parties feel they will suffer. Mm. So out of people's selfishness, nothing is being nothing is being fixed. So it's not like the, the people listening are not discerning enough. How are they enjoying Simi and, and Adenkule Go? Yeah. And people like Johnny Drill. At a point, Johnny Drill song was big in Ghana. Yeah. And I'm asking, how how did it get into the country? Because his music is almost like country music. That's true. You, you know, should, I mean, look at some, somebody like Six Strings. You mm. know, amazing Charlie. artist. I saw, I saw a clip of him, of his uh, circulating today. And I was happy. It means people love it. People want to hear songs like that. As a matter of fact, some, an artist like Joey B, it's not your regular hip hop no, hip artist. No, 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 no. He has a weird sound. It's a unique A music. unique sound. That's amazing. You understand? Yes, they play some of some of his songs, but you know the circulation is not as much as other songs. So sometimes, if care is not taken, you listen to Ghana radio and start see we have only four artists in yeah. the whole of Ghana. Yeah, you know, it's like we don't have people doing Afro fusion, neo soul, uh, high life, uh, jazz, Afro jazz, and it's like all our sounds just just like four people. Oh, wow. You know, uh huh. And then when they they fade, we pick the new four. It's you know, so. All right, but let's. We, we, we we're going to talk about the new one, the EP Pipe Panel. Yes. Why did you? Yeah, let me go for a quick commercial break. Come on, <laughs> because Pipe Panel, the name is Pipe. Pipe Panel. What could cross your cup Pipe Panel now and say Pipe Panel? It's in saloon. I'll be right back to talk about the EP. Stay tuned. I told you one of the best guys to look out for in our entertainment industry is this guy, Trigmatic. Yo! <laughs> that, that line you do for the. As the only penny you have in the sun. The way they done the jacket. I'm a I'm a freestyle, I'm a freestyle, I'm a freestyle. To give you your man, don't mean you demand the things that you can. If you was the man that needed a hand, refusing the man, you don't understand. But knowing you can, you made up, you mess up his plan. Matic! Trig, let's talk about pie panel. Yes. Corona. Uh, your friend said, Corona originated <laughs> yes, Pipe EP, yeah. Pipe Panel. Yeah. First off, the name yeah. Pipe Panel, it's a tardy kind of yeah. um, name. I think yeah. there's a place called Pipe Panel. Yeah, Pano there's a place called Pipe Panel, tardy. Was it uh, uh, inspired by that? Or yes, yeah, so it was, it was where I recorded the EP. Oh, okay. It was where it was the, the area where I recorded the EP. I asked the producer, and he said, oh, I have a friend pipe panel. And I said, OK. I had just gone to take a picture by the signage. So I decided to use the picture as the cover art. Um, pipe panel because, because of how it happened. Mm. You know, I was just there. there was, it was during the election time. I saw young women and men uh, rallying around, pushing for their parties. And well, half of them drunk. 
mm. or high on something. You know, they were going around the market circle, coming around. And I asked myself, Charlie, so after election, somebody go mind these people. Mm. You know, nobody go mind these people. And, and that's the truth. It's the hard truth. Yeah. You know, they look like they, they had no plan. Because, Sebio, I mean, if you have a plan, what to fear be? I mean, you know you need to use your thumb, and that's it. You understand? Yeah, whether they Yeah, whether, you so know, uh -huh. and you see, I always say this. Going out to rally is not the problem. It's not my problem. But you see, having a plan for yourself mm -hmm. that this is where I want to go. This is what I want to do. Now, based on your plan, you rally behind the, the party. party. Who has the right policies to, to bring this plan to life? Yeah. You understand? So, Uncle, we rally in a minimum say, be a whole year, human be and business be and our plan be and our whole share will be a whole year youth hubs be a incubators be a ever investing to young entrepreneurs be and our district in a benefit be be. And yeah, because me do party, you know, I mean, it's hard to understand. There should be a reason why you love that. You understand? There should be a reason. You know, so I mean, I looked at it and those sights and those sounds, you know, inspired me to. Because I so I have a, a song on the on the EP called Politic a, in a Diplomatic Thief, mm. which basically touches on the fact that you know um, our leaders come to us, they say, oh, give us the votes. Once they get it, they get into power, then they start looting, you know. And then we have other sounds like a Chane Joe, you know, it's like like Logoligi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you know, I just tweeted that Charlie. I am inspired to record an EP, six tracks. I want a producer who can work with me over the weekend so we finish all of the six tracks. So we did all of the six tracks in two days. Jeez. Yeah. So this guy hit me up and said he was willing to. And Elon, his name is Elon Beats. Elon Beats and Sweet. They hit me up. I said, good. Let's jump into the studio. First day I went to the studio, three tracks, pam. We did it. The next day I came back, three tracks, pam. And then I reached out to Papi Kojo and said, oh, yeah, I'm in town. He came, he did a verse. I said, who are the dopest MCs? They mentioned Aisem, Kenata, and Kenata wasn't around. Mm -hmm. So I put Aisem on the track. They mentioned the township. So I put the township on. I need a full female vocalist. They brought Aima. Because what I also realized was that they had talent, but, they but these talents were caged. Jeez. You know, they are all like, Charlie, me, 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 but you need somebody to push you. That's true. You know, so I said, let's collaborate, not with the very popular ones, but the ones who at least are surfacing a little bit and see how the EP will push their names out there. We're going to shoot the videos. We're shooting one on Saturday. We're shooting the videos, all the videos, most of the videos in Takradi and using some Takradi-based directors and then some Accra-based directors. We're taking Accra-based directors to Takradi to shoot, you know, uh, most of most of the of the cutaways and stuff from there. Now another thing with this EP thing I'm doing is that from this EP we're doing one in Kumasi. So I've just tweeted the Kumasi one. Uh, I want to see who and who will jump on it, and then we we'll go to so the. So you're north. going to create another EP. Yeah, so, so in January that will drop. Wow. That will drop. You know, I mean, people thought that oh, Chalimenyo Masembina. Nah, for you music. people thought it was like. Oh, what to assume because of the new school, the new oh, wave? Oh, well, it's in, I mean, tones, you almost so sad. What I say? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, for 10 years, I always say, I mean, the last time I got a nomination was last year. Mm -hmm. You understand? So gonna, the was relevance was that. there. The relevance has always been there. Currently, as we speak, even with the Greater Accra Music Awards, I got the highest nomi nomination. You understand? So it's there. The, the p most prestigious award, which is Ghana Music Awards, I got three nominations, you understand, this for, 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 for this year, mm. you, you know. So the relevance has always been there. You know, it's just that, like I said, I changed my sound. I wasn't really into that commercial sound. Yeah. You know, I wanted to create a new wave, which, which is happening. Look, people never thought that Ghan was sexy, you know. Tiny, I... tiny used it to rap, but I found a way to commercialize it to make it sound really appealing, mm. you understand? And, and it's there, I mean, and all with all humility um, and all respect to, to the likes of Adani Best, you know, they paved the way, mm -hmm. they opened it, and, and some of us picked them and joined with the new sound, and 
I mean, we're all enjoying it. So six tracks on five panel. Yes. Um, how many are out now? We, we have uh, Gimme That, which is featuring Papi Kojo yeah, as the one. first single. We're going to release Misunderstood. And, and that, mean, that song means a lot to me. Mm. You know, and that's the video we're shooting on Sunday. And then we drop Diplomatic Teeth. Hi. Let me just go back and just turn myself around because I want to know about Diplomatic Teeth. <laughs> if probably he had an experience or something, it would be controversial today. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Oh, this is the only show that gets you closer to your superstars and your super superstars. And I have one superstar in the building, Trigmatic. Phone line activated 055 So Trig, are you going to release the songs one after the other or you're bringing the full EP out so that you release them as singles? Yes, the, the EP is out. Okay. So now we're going to release them as singles. And like you said, the first single is Give Me That. We've released it. The video for that is coming. The video for Misunderstood will be released together with the song as a second single. You said that means a lot. Is that your favorite on the track? On the, on the EP? My favorite is Diplomatic Thief. Mm. But the, the Misunderstood sort of like tells uh, the story f of a lot of men. You know, yeah. Wow. Uh, in, what, in what context? Well, we're in the car. <laughs> 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 when a car and Charlie, some friend of mine mm. broke down a story to me that I didn't believe. Mm. You know, it was a heartbreak story oh. that I didn't believe. Oh. And then the driver also said, hmm. <laughs> 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 then the other guy, we're going to keep close. And the other guy too said, hmm. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, yo, then I'm going to do a song and have, uh, you know, that story yeah. where, like, a man can pour his heart, you know. Uh -huh. So, in the chorus, I'm saying, uh, mm. you know, it's like, mm. but people, but they they understand. Uh, people didn't understand. You know, who, you know, it could be a lover, it could be a friend, it could be a wife, it could be a girlfriend, you know. So, yeah, it's just, just that. Hmm, trick. My seminar. <laughs> 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 but Patrick, yeah. you, 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 you have um, stood your ground with your personal conviction or relationship or your stand as a Christian. Mm. How are you managing the two with regards to the fans out there, the songs, you know? Well, I think that uh, with me, I'm not even managing mm. because being a Christian is a lifestyle. You know, so I don't plan to be a Christian. I'm living as a Christian. Mm -hmm. So I'm not managing. Okay. You know, that means, you know, Christianity I have is... A caller. Yes, I'm sure. Hello? Yeah, hello? Yes, sir. Your name and where are you calling me from? <laughs> my, my, my name is One Million. One Million? Yeah. And you know, Well, One Million. Yo, trick money! One million! Trick money! Nothing! We don't want to talk about it, but we don't want to talk about it. Oh, no more! No more! Yo! Me talk about it! Trick money! One million! Oh, trick! Sally, tell me about it! Sally, nice one, nice one, nice one. Sally, Sally, how are you? No, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Wow. One million. One million. Ask him where he knew me from. <laughs> One million. Hello? Oh. So, bro, this guy, this guy used to call me from the jail. Um, but he's out now. Wow. And he has an incredible story. Yeah. And uh, my life, my life, you know, was an inspiring one for him. And I'm no, I knew him before that incident. Mm. And, I, and, you know, I was like, I never turned my back. I was always hooking them up. Um, him and a friend called Thomas. They were all in there together. 
And this is how far we go with being generous to people, you know. So big up one million and Charlie, he's a hard guy. One million, don't yeah, make he's, a, no, no, he's, he's a hard guy. Million, one million, one million is in town. <laughs> what I big up, see one million, whatever you are, whatever you big are. Big up, big up, flamingo. Our, our, our time is up. Mm. We are talking about the Christian thing and then your song yeah. is being. Yeah, so I was just saying, so I mean, we don't plan, we don't, pl I mean, yes, you have a conscious effort to walk in. But are people in not trying to, you know, play around it that why should you release certain songs? No, 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 no. I understand things. myself so much that I, I don't, I can't listen to people. Mm. You know, my relationship with God is paramount. And for me, that's the most important. Um, I always say, okay, so then if I switch to singing what you call um, gospel music and I am doing bad in the back, does that help me or mm. help who? You understand? Is it to please you or is it to please God? You know, so I think what's important is playing my kingdom role, mm -hmm. which I already do. I mean, as, as a youth um, leader in my church, making sure, uh, you know, the youth are in check, making sure I'm, I'm evangelizing, winning souls for Christ. So like I said, I, I'm living as I should. And for me, that's the most important thing. It doesn't mean I don't have flaws. It doesn't mean I'm perfect. In fact, the most the main reason why I'm Christian is because of my imperfections. Mm -hmm. You know, it's because I'm so dirty that I, I fall on Christ to be clean. Mm. You know, so for me... Ah, let's put the word in. Though your sins be as red as scarlet. <laughs> Thank you. Shall make them as white as snow. My name Thank is Foster you. Romanus. Let's wrap up. Um, I think your, your skills and your thrills and skills. Skills and thrills. Sk skills and thrills is ongoing now. Yes, it's happening right now. A flavor, you know, soup mm. um, is, is ongoing. Currently, I hear Asians is already on, on stage. So, so that's a platform for young talent who are into alternative music or different kinds of art forms, spoken word, comedy, whatever it is. Come in there, uh, uh, show what you got. It's, it happens every Wednesday at Flip Bar. Starts at 7 p.m. And, uh, you know, we have drinks, we have food. So come, come through. And let's let's have some fun. I'll be coming through with some of my my um, my team members and colleagues as well. All right, so let's wrap up social media handles, final message, and then I, we just um, social media handles: Trigmatic Official Instagram and and Facebook, Trigmatic Rocks on Twitter. Don't forget um, the EP Pipe Panel mm. is on Afton Music. Just go on there and stream them. You can download them as well. Next week, they come on all digital stores. Look out for Misunderstood, the video. Um, um, look out for the doc, the short doc okay. on, um, on the EP, uh, which I've put bits and pieces out on my, uh, my Instagram already. Um, guys, stay positive. Most importantly, ha find Christ. Have a good relationship with, with, with God. Don't believe that it's some complicated thing. It's something you cannot do. As a matter of fact, um, it's so simple. It's so easy. Um, find your purpose. Think for yourself, family, and for Ghana. Find um, a problem and be a solution to that problem. And it could be the way to your success. Mm. And my name is Foster Romanos. If you are going to sleep, don't drink too much water because... <laughs> <laughs>